So we met Mario yesterday. He shared with us a pretty personal story, all building up to the point of meeting someone that he loves. Mm -hmm. Hannah. They've been talking for eight months. He's developing serious feelings for her. Uh... He thinks she could be the one. Yeah. Yeah. There are definitely some things that are yeah. quite concerning, but I'm still really hopeful. Should we get going? Yes, please. OK, so email from Mario. Julia Nubar, great to meet you guys yesterday. This is the number for my mate Matt, who thinks Hannah is a guy. This was the postcode she gave me when we arranged to meet, and the pictures that she sent me are attached. Friends are pretty reliable, you know, in these scenarios. He was adamant that Matt was wrong. Mm. I think we should maybe message Matt, see if he's got some time to talk. All right, let me text and see what he says. I sent. We'll see if he gets back to us. Let me search her actual the social media that Mario sent us and see what comes up. She's got 213 followers, follows 401 people, has posted 11 times, and the account's private. That feels like a teacher's account to me. The exciting thing here that we never normally have is we've got an address. So if we search the postcode, we can figure out if there's someone on the electoral register with that name. OK, cool, right. So I'm going to search her name, and then I'm going to type the postcode in here, mm. and we'll see what we find. Oh, Interesting. wait, so we've got three results. Three of them have the same surname, none specifically that have her first name. No, people in London move all the time. Yeah, like... I think the only good thing is at least that the, the postcode is coming up with an actual road in West London. And yeah. It's not just a made up postcode. Hold on. Hello. Hello, it's, it's Matt, how you doing? Hey Matt, it's Julia Nubar from Catfish UK, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, how long have you known Mario for? Three, three years, four years, maybe? So one of the things that Mario told us was that you felt like Hannah, who for him is potentially the love of his life, you feel like Hannah is a guy. Why do you think that? Because of the fact, like, you know, like there's always been like an excuse of not meeting up. It just seems a bit weird. Yeah, he likes to get his kit off quite a lot on social media. Do you think he's the kind of guy who is susceptible to this sort of thing? I mean, possibly. Any interaction that comes his way, he'll interact back. Well, Matt, thank you so much for speaking to us. Of course. Cool. Take care. All right, take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Did hear a little bit of, oh, there's barely any photos of him with, like, clothes on. Is there, like, a, is there like that little bit of resentment there? Is yeah, there something there? I don't know if it necessarily means that I'm jealous of them or I don't like them because of it. Stranger things have happened than Matt being the catfish. Mm. So. I don't think we completely take him off the table. OK, let's have a look at the pictures that Mario sent us over. Why would you take a picture with a red telephone box if you lived in London? This is weird, isn't it? You know, you do that if you're visiting. Like, it's a bit strange, isn't it? It's a tiny bit. See what happens. Nothing at all. OK. The next one. I'd be shocked if this showed anything. Nah, yeah. nothing. They all look like really normal pictures. Apart from? The headshot? Yeah. OK, cool. Let's give that one a try. That's another woman. This is someone in New Zealand, a dance and arts therapy person in New Zealand. Sarah <laughs> This is exactly why she has a photo with a phone box in London, because she's a Kiwi. We can definitely get a contact for this woman. Let's, let's, let's get one. So, d dance and arts therapy, there's a social media account. Yeah, on. good. They're literally following 92 people. I'm guessing that one of them's probably Sarah. OK, hold on. No! That's the picture from the festival.